everybody. Yeah, Sunday morning. Hey, it's about five minutes to seven. Almost ready to roll out. Had a little bit of rain last night, which wasn't, you know, wasn't too bad. starting our day we still have 33 hours and 10 minutes on our on our 70 we slept in a little bit but we're still gonna make uh, make our final you know place to stop in uh, Manuka you know in good time so we're gonna stop at st. Roberts at about 92 miles we'll stop at Pacific then we'll have a long drive to Lincoln Illinois then a hunt then you know another jaunt to uh, Manuka so 92 miles 93 miles 162 miles and 23 miles then we'll have about 28 miles and 46 miles to our uh, to our deliveries tomorrow. All right, let's. We're gonna take a quick walk around for our pre-trip, and then we're gonna get going. It is time to roll, 7 a.m. just three stops we're gonna do four stops today on our way up I said take it nice and easy like I said I'm in no hurry just to get just just to get there as fast as possible it doesn't so like I said we're gonna You know, 109 or 90 miles, 90 miles, hour and a half, hour and a half. You know, then we'll do 160 miles. At you know, 600 for, feet, turn left on. You know, so we got. Proceed to the highlighted route. Turn left and then turn left at 340 feet. We got we got about about seven hours of driving today. Seven and a half hours of driving a day, not too, uh, not too bad. Yeah, we got to still make progress, but you know, not going to uh, proceed to the highlighted route. Like I said yesterday, today wasn't wasn't in any mood or 
had no requirement to, to get there ASAP. And I still have to get to, you know, you know, close enough and then still uh Proceed to the highlighted route. I still have to, you know, wait until Monday anyway, so So what's the use in Russian?
ready, ready, ready. So the usual routine, park, post trip, shower. Who can argue with that? Exit 222. And there's the sign right there. Look at that. Bang. They got the Arby's. They got your hot bar, whatnot. Fairly close is going to be a uh, McDonald's and a uh, Wendy's, if I remember correctly. Yeah, McDonald's down the road, down the street a bit. Gonna get ourselves parked, get off the clock, settle down for the evening. It is 4:27 right here, so we arrived basically when we said we're going to 4:30. A little bit of slowdown for some construction and a, you know, a couple of small towns to go through, but other than that, we rolled along pretty decently today. So we are good. We are good. And we've stopped here a couple of different times before. So not too bad of a place. Just to my ears, it's got a funny name. Minuko. All right, Ottawa Drive, here we go. And Mr. Policeman sitting there waiting for somebody to do something stupid. Hopefully it's not me. <laughs> All righty, let's get ourselves into a spot. Let's find one here. There we go. Get our signals on. That guy's parked. That guy's parked in there. And might just have a spot right here next to this Amerifreight guy. And I think we will do that. ourselves in. adjust ourselves here that's a little bit too uh, too far back so we're gonna adjust ourselves a little bit like I said you don't have to be perfect you just have to be close
and without hitting anybody or anything, we are in our spot. Let's get back in there, then we will straighten ourselves up a little bit more. But we're gonna use all the space we got. And that's the key. Use all the space you have. Don't try to bend it so hard or, you know. It's a little tight in here, but not too, not too bad. Not, nothing that you can't do. They got a slightly longer truck than most of these guys out here. And I'm driving a split axle, so I gotta be more careful with my, uh, with spinning them tires, you know, sliding them tires around. And a little bump on the curb, there we go. All right. 